Hello, all of us are familiar with the management of uh, neonatal jaundice as per the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, bilirubin charts. I've shared uh, videos as well as write-ups on this topic. A common question arises as to how we approach the management of jaundice in premature babies and uh, there is a very useful tool for that which I will share here. It's called the stanfordchildrens.org uh, uh, preemie bilirex and it's a simple tool almost on the same model as the billy tool i'll share the link to the video where i've explained how to use a billy tool here and in the video info so you simply uh, enter the gestational age of the baby in uh, weeks and days and the bilirubin measurement you have the option to enter either as milligram percent or micromoles and uh, this is not valid in the first 48 hours of age so we have to extrapolate from that as uh, high risk of jaundice you may need to treat more aggressively once you enter this data and submit almost similar to the billy tool it gives you the treatment threshold if the baby is simple premature or there is a risk factor and the neurotoxicity risk factors includes the bilirubin uh, the albumin level being less than 2.5 in premature babies you remember in aap guideline it's less than three and uh, we have the uh, clinically sick baby as well and the evidence of hemolysis so if these uh, risk factors are there the treatment threshold is different so you have the first uh, part which is the phototherapy cutoff and the second part which is the exchange transfusion cutoff and uh, this is fairly useful of course uh, we have the nice guideline charts for the premature babies we have gestation age specific charts uh, which can be used as well and uh, i mean almost similar to the other phototherapy charts if you use you take one chart for each gestational age and we know that the premature babies are at higher risk of uh, chronic stress uh, there were studies which looked at uh, aggressive phototherapy versus conservative phototherapy and the premature babies who were exposed to aggressive phototherapy had an increased mortality in the extreme low birth weight babies especially those below 750 grams and this could be because bilirubin has uh, antioxidant effect and uh, depriving them of that antioxidant role may make them more susceptible to complications like sepsis so this is just a warning and also there are studies which look at very intensive phototherapy to regular phototherapy for premature babies so in an extreme premature babies we can avoid uh, very aggressive intensive phototherapy the radiance level of 20 to 30 should be adequate don't go higher than that uh, in the first few days again for the same reason so unless the baby is approaching exchange level you don't need to go for very aggressive phototherapy there are studies looking at intermittent exposure to phototherapy as well in these tiny babies compared to continuous exposure and uh, if the bilirubin is not too high intermittent exposure may be an option so i hope uh, this kind of answers the question about what chart to use for premature baby so we have the stanford uh, premature ch uh, bilirex ch uh, chart i will share the link in the video info as well as well as the nice guideline uh, gestation in specific charts thank you